guys, this right here is a new sensation called Evermore. Um, a bit shaky, a bit quaky, slim peaky, but it doesn't matter because I'm rocking a dashiki. See the dashiki? Look at that dashiki, beautiful bean footage. It's your birthday. I'm Thursday. Ha ha ha. Kai is a cow. Cow is a Kai and a Kai is a cow. What's going on? Hey, I'm boom boom bow. Holy shit. Who are you? Beer Drink Shawty here with another Who Are You beer review. Um, today I went down to the local package store and grabbed Sweetwater's latest offering. <laughs> Sweetwater's, latest, Sweetwater's latest offering, which is the Spring Variety Pack. Sweetwater's latest. Sweetwater's latest offering, which is the Sweetwater Spring Variety Pack. Let's check it out. Pretty much an IPA situation in Rodego. Uh, we have the Grass Monkey, which is a hoppy wheat ale. Oh my God. Grass Monkey, which is a hoppy wheat ale with lemongrass. Then we have the traditional Extra Pale Ale 420, Hash Session IPA, the normal IPA, and one, an India Pale Ale featuring Mosaic Hops Hatchery series. As you can see, three of them a piece, two of them and one of them. So you already know, I'm going for the one because I'm selfish. So what? What are we doing? As I said, I'm going with the special edition. Uh, out of the 12, there's only one of them in this uh, tackle box, whatever you want to call it. So I went for the, the Indian Pale Ale that uses Mosaic Hops Hatchery Series release number one. So this is the first time that this has been released. It's a 6.4 alcohol by volume beer. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be pretty golden. But shut up, nigga. Let's go ahead and get into this beer. And just so I could give a very aggressive pour in this glass because as you can see, there's definitely, what? definitely enough room for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get aggressive with it. See how much head it produces. There we go. Definitely produced a lot of head, a carbonated, very carbonated head, which is dissipating pretty slowly, truthfully. Bubble streaming upward like the salmon, beer very orange. You can actually see sediments. I mean, you're not gonna be able to see them that close, but eh, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Find the beer, then you can see the sediments, nigga. But anyhow, <laughs> bubble streaming up with like the salmon. When I said that the head dissipates very slowly, it's definitely dissipating very slowly because it looks like it haven't even, has it, looks like it hasn't even moved. Now for the best part of this video, I get to drink this shit and let you know what I think of it. Mmm, yummy. I meant to give it a whiff first. Pulling it up, I got a huge whiff. It is fucking dry. It's very floral. This beer is very floral, filled with aromas of flowers. <laughs> no, but like I said, almost like a perfumey. You know what I'm saying? It's so, but it's good. It tastes really good. I'm pretty sure they probably use orange peel, maybe even some type of tropical fruit or some sort. I'll put it this way. If you lit this beer on fire, it would smell up the house and it would smell. Oh, whiskey. Bitches won't run. Bitches won't run. Mm. Holy shit. This beer is good as hell. Straight up and down. <laughs> Definitely check this out if you can find it. The best buy date on here is June 27, 2017. So it has <laughs> pretty much two months left in it. But it'll still be good, you know what I'm saying? But this is definitely a beer worth checking out. And I can truly say, of every sweet water beer, because a lot of people love sweet water. That's their go-to craft beer. Me, not so much. I go straight to the New Belgium session of the situation. Of all of Sweetwater's beers that I've tried, this Hatchery series, India Pale Ale, Mosaic Hops, this is the best Sweetwater beer that I've ever had, straight up and down. Definitely the best Sweetwater beer that I've ever tried. It sucks that it's a limited release, but it's the first time release, and hopefully enough people will review it on their beer tour. Maybe a, hopefully enough people will express their feelings for this beer to where it'll become a mainstay. This is a good beer, and truthfully, if this was uh, around year round, I'd probably get it once a week, definitely. Good ass beer. Shush! As I said, when I said that the head was dissipating very slowly, I wasn't lying. Look, I'm done with this beer. Looks like a snowball. A snowball melt. Anyhow, on a scale of zero to five, it's a four and a half. A bit bitter, a bit sweet at the at, at the beginning. Tell that it was a fresh beer. Smelled great. It went down so smooth that you wouldn't even think that this was an IPA. You would think it was like an India. Oh shit. 
Holy shit. Growing up in Georgia, there was an item, a wrestling item that I always wanted as a kid. However, the WWF never came to Georgia. And if they did, I must have missed frequent WCW, NWA fan. I used to go down to the uh, World Congress Center. My brother took me to, I believe, uh, whatever, Phillips Arena, center stage. I used to frequent those wrestling events as a kid. My brother used to take me all the time. Shout out to my brother. He's always been there for me. That's what it is, what it ain't, what it's gonna be. There was an item that I always wanted. There was a WWF merchandise. But I could never get them. I got it now because I'm grown. The niggas didn't come to Georgia then, but guess what, nigga? I get what the fuck I want. Let's go ahead and open this up. You see it first, niggas. <laughs> you see it first, niggas. I always, I always envy those little kids that sat in the front that where Bret Hart would come out and wrap the glasses around their little fat Mississippi sweat hog face. But now I'm old enough to just fucking buy. So I did. Look at these bad boys. Ooh. Yeah, I normally only rock Kazal, Ray-Ban, but nigga, these about to get rocked. These about to get rocked. They ran me $35 on Amazon. The thing that I like about these glasses is the fact that they came directly from Brett the Hitman Hart himself. Hitman Enterprises or something like that. Before you niggas try to flame me, I meant the money goes directly to Brett the Hitman himself and not WWE. Oh, man. I've always wanted to do this. It's gonna be a cold summer, bitch. <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, I'm, 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 I'm dying. I'm dying to look in the mirror and see how the fuck I look. Cause this camera right here doesn't have a flip up screen, nigga. What the fuck? But I better be in focus this whole motherfucking video, bitch. Fire. These are fire. I'm rocking these. I'm rocking these in Walmart tomorrow. Ooh. Once again, I'd like to thank everybody for always thumbing up the videos, giving your comment, whether it's negative or positive, or even a thumb down. Definitely check out for me tomorrow. I have another video up. I'm Beer Drink Shorty. <coughs> Who are you? On this thing called YouTube, however, <laughs> jump out the window and say that these guys are trash that do the fucking damn thing. They do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, fuck those guys. Some people do it. I don't do it. It does me because I am beer drank shawty. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. Uh, <laughs>